Oh, no way. <laughs> no way. Chat, don't worry. We're not stopping. Just because the chapters stop, it doesn't mean we stop. We continue. The JoJo Star Adventure shall continue. All right? The plot thickens. So after chapter one has now finished, we have learned that Hilda Bran is an elegant and strong and buff man. Fat Cat was scarred during the first chapter, not knowing will there be more oiling to come between Hildebrand and Yuko Joestar. The family heirloom was restored and now Hildebrand must battle to the death in a duel. Let's see. Ellie, what do you have for me? Ellie wishes to, sir, wishes to share her latest discoveries with you. Perhaps you are certain about the duelist declared target. It is so happened I have identified the weapon in question. This blade is part of the Iskard Noble Collection, or was, I should say. No, it has not been yet stolen. It has been purchased by Uldan Collector, the wife of a wealthy merchant living in Vesper Bay. Suffice to say, I will remiss in my duties as a reporter were I would not to investigate her. And should the duelist strike why am I in present? Well, I hope I shouldn't explain what a golden opportunity that would be. Congratulating myself to her may provide may prove to be the greatest challenge, though I'm told she's a difficult woman to please. Fortunately, I'm also told that she has a fondness for rare flowers, the sort tubulous, in camp dry bone cells. You can come along if you'd like. Let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, there is a fight going on outside. Uh, what the? <laughs> what? Um, boys, I'm sorry, but uh, Yuko Joestar, this does not concern us, so we shall continue on. Goodbye, fair chaps. Goodbye. Onwards and upwards, fat stood. That bunda is always taking up that good course of that screen. We have arrived. What have you got for us? Here you are, miss. Thank you for your Patreon. Yoink, I'll take that. Was it for love or money that you killed him? It was you. Have you gone mad? The amateur arrowed him in his back. I don't even know how to shoot a bow. The Amajat don't go fleeing unarmed merchants. They capture and temper them. Not that you are a victim make for concerning merchants. If you're going to misrepresent yourself, put some effort into it. Wear gloves for God's sake, or at least don't wave your hands in front of your face. The calluses on your fingers betray you as a veteran archer. Doubtless you would use your skill to great effect five years ago, as did your partner. So again, I asked, was it because he took from your share or your sister. You don't touch a man's skin. He knew that. And yet he, he. Damn, I thought he did it for the money. You two. Oh, he's all yours. Yes, of course. Thanks for the help, Inspector. At least he's competent. But when did he investigate crimes become such a popular profession? I don't know. It's not his job, you know, it's just like he likes doing it. He belongs to one of the Ishgard High Houses. Some say he's a baron. Not all like that buffoon Hildebrand, don't you think? Hey! I'll slap that smirk straight off your face. I try not to think about Hildebrand. We should get going. Lady D will not take kindly to ritted flowers. Woo! Now I must present the lavender. To the fine lady in the waking sands. Uh, do I have any? I don't have any. <laughs> I don't have any. Uh, I'm all out. So we must fly over from Horizon to the waking sands. There you are. That's good. Goodbye. <laughs> I present some flowers too. Again, as I told the last 20 who came here. If you have come looking for work, you are too late. And even if I were in need of additional security, I would not delight 
to hire a common adventurer. Now remove yourself from my sight before I have you removed. I have this lavender for you, my fine lady. If you would shush your mush, then you will find out. Did you really think I could be so easily manipulated? Present the right gift, speak the magic words, and you would earn my respect? Maybe. What is more, a flower's beauty is fleeing. I value beauty which transcends the boundaries of time, everlasting, enduring, and unchanging, like mine. Now get out. There is no way to speak to Yuko Joestar like that. Forgive us, Lady D. We meant no disrespect. We were afraid that you would not heed our warning otherwise. A notorious violent thief is plotting to steal the Treaty Blade. You fools. I shall come to claim the Collector's Blade. Yes, I read the... River of... I know full well of whom you speak, and it is none of my concern. I have a legion of guards at my disposal. Shall he try? I will have him seized or worse. And even by some miracle, he should succeed. He will not escape my wrath, for I have retained the services of a certain gentleman. Is that Hildebrand? Ah, but you must see for yourself, like every piece in my collection, he has chosen with utmost care. Now look on my peerless inspector, Empelos in despair. Right, let's meet this fine chap, shall we? Oh, damn, she's happy to see him. Yes, ship that pass in the night. A signal shown in the darkness. The lady cries out for a guardian, and a gentleman must need a blind. Yes, I swear to you here and now, Hildebrand, Ancient of Inquiry, Inspector Extraordinaire, shall neither slumber nor sleep until the fiend who covenants the treaty blade is brought to justice yes sir indeed ho oh, ho oh. yes <laughs> good sir what brings you here are you come in pursuit of the duelist as well or perhaps in pursuit of me as if I would spend a single gill on an insufferable incompetent to be fair, you are not spending a single gill on me. Oh, damn, got the slow mo walk as well. <laughs> the charge to investigate such an intriguing case is payment enough. Predimitive declarations of criminal intent are hardly in vogue. Sorry, I'm late busy solving a murderer. A murder, unlike you. Oh, Baraton, consulting inspector at your service. As I nut the microphone, my lady. <laughs> uh, uh, Nonny? Convincing inspector? Consulting inspector to you, Hildebrand. <laughs> Rotten flesh and sulpa. Hildebrand, Mandeville, and Nashu Maka, I presume, yes. Two rank amateurs playing at a profession of which they know aught. Call me when you're finished with these wastrels. Who is that? Uh, sorry, Peter Pan's the other way. You see, I do- Is that Wendy? Is that Wendy? I do not want nor your help. Brayden is more than capable of overseeing the transfer. Now get out, all of you. What? Uh, where have you been, Maria? Uh, no, 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 no. And where is my vas? Or my vase? Wendy, is that you? There was this stranger flying thing, and I've- the vase I dropped in water. I was so- The vase belonged to one of the royal house of throne. Do you have any idea how much it was worth? You will go back outside right now and search for my vase, and you will not return until you find it. Do I make myself clear? Oh. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> 
Oh, yes, my lady, pray allow me to go in the girl's steed. It is not safe for her, so speak of a ferocious wild beast. Yes. Watch with my unmatched investigational skills. I shall swiftly locate and recover the missing vase, therefore earning your respect, at which point you will gladly grant me permission to investigate the thieving duelist. Verily, it is a pain, fiendishly clever in its instructions. Now, when spoken aloud. <laughs> no, I missed it! I'm so sorry. Miss Maria, would you be so kind to tell me exactly what happened? <laughs> no, fuck! I missed it again! I picked up the vase in order, like Mother said, and I was on my way home. I was crossing the bridge, and then the flying thing came. I, I, I got scared, so I ran. When I stopped, it was gone. But so was the vase. I dropped it into... Into the wells. I want to go... Go and look. But there was a scary looking thing down there. I'm scared to go alone. You are no longer alone, Miss Maria. We shall go together and look for the vase. All five of us. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. All four of you. I'm going after the expector, Brian. We call him Brian. If the duelist strikes, I mean to be there. But, Miss Ellie, how can you ignore the plight of a young girl for the sake of a story? Because that's my job, you imbecile. <laughs> well, we shall not derelict in our duty to justice. Come, that's all. We must away. You don't even know where the bloody vase looks like. <laughs> it's fine. Maria, dear, listen. If it gets dangerous or I feel... If you feel afraid, you'd run this adventurer for help, understand? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I actually love this. Now we must go over to the world, shall we? So. The chapter has well and truly thickened. The two inspectors have met in each other, but Yuko Joestar knows what side he will always be on. And forever we will look out for him. Now where have I got to go? I've got to make my way to Horizon. The resting merchant, Joe Star Yuko, returns at the bridge. Merchant, how may I help? That girl what run by earlier, I, I've seen her. Had something in her hands, but dropped it while crossing the bridge. Didn't get a good look, but I reckon it doesn't matter any road. Whatever it was, it's gone by now. No, I will not stop until it's done. Still it is thick, well and truly, is done leg day. Now where is the second merchant that we must speak of on this fine afternoon? We swoop in, not knowing. Speak to me. A vase. Well, anything that falls into the water is likely to be swept downstream fairly quickly. Does this have anything to do with the queer winged beast I saw earlier? No, never mind then. Are we facing them one-eyed beasts again? No, this cannot be. A, lamp a flamboyant oaf. Here he is. A pox upon that thieving demon bird. He shall rule the day he cross paths with me. Ha, huh? a vase. I know aught of what. Gah, curse this infuriel fuse underfoot. Every point is a dagger. There is something in the water at the man's feet. Okay, let me inspect this cure. Chicken? Why is there a chicken here? <laughs> what is this chicken doing here? Do I spy the treasury vase of Lady D over? Oh dear. Your fat ass crushed it. 
Uh, does this belong to you, child? Forgive me, I was so engrossed in my search that I did not notice. Your search for what? Pray tell. The demon bird. That I... I... Yeah, my weapon. I think that just flew by. I set it down for a moment, only to see in the next talons a curd creature. I give chase following to these waters, and in my haste I must have stepped on your vase. Don't fret, Maria. I know it looks bad, but I'm sure Inspector Hildebrand will think of something. Yes. He has this pose. We shall have this. There we go. You want to pose? We will pose as well. Ah, but I already have my faithful assistant. He can speak now for his rising dove to spell. The dark shall my resol solution resolve our dilemma. But first, we must gather as many fragments as the vase as we can. Yes. Da damn, that's a few. How many? You couldn't have crushed it in it. <laughs> couldn't have crushed it into any more pieces if you tried. Like, really? I'll take this. There must be a big vase, the amount of interactions that we've got to do with this. What? I'm baffled by this chicken. Is this your chicken, sir? Is this yours? Why is it here? You need to add an owl flex to the stream. Oh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Hell yeah. And that is all your pots, my boy. Hildebrand. <laughs> Shush. Come present your findings. Have you splendid? Let's have a look. Right, let's see if you can put this bad boy together. Well done, my friend. This should be more than suffice for our needs. He has performed miracles with far less, after all. The veggie chicken. And Quindescendant, I will work on that flex emote. <laughs> a robot from the future as well. Thank you so much for the follow. A shattered unique vase will not deter Inspector Hildebrand from his mission. There is one... There is but one person in all of Awarsia capable of reconstructing this vase a man whose skill with the hammer has brought ver rival goldsmiths low so breathtaking are his works so fearsome his competitive spirit this man is no mere goldsmith you speak of him as one would be of a great warrior once a notorious gang of thieving perpetuated a series of robberies in udar targeting establishments which sold luxury goods one such shop was owned by the humble latrapri of whom I speak. He was the last shop the thieves struck for the following morning. They were found beaten, bound, and gagged in the gold court. The brass blades never learned who was responsible. Only information they had were testimony of a thief who kept muttering the words, The hammer! The hammer! He sounds dangerous. The hammer? Um, hello? Is that the Lady of Darkness? No, please don't. <laughs> I, he does. And do... And I do so enjoy the company of dangerous men. Alright, hold up. Easy, fella. Easy. But where are my manners? I have yet to probably introduce myself. I am Gleelamesh. And this is my companion... Endu? <laughs> oh, well, not really. He's been... Been many moons since I last saw her. So, to ease the burden of loneliness, I tamed a rooster and painted it green. Poor rooster. <laughs> Poor rooster. In any case, you mean to search for this goldsmith, yes? If so, it would be my pleasure to help. The pleasure is all mine, Gillian. Hildebrand, ancient... A, 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 agent of inquiry. Inspector extraordinaire, bid you welcome. If it is hard for you to remember, I give you leave to call me Gil. Excellent suggestion, Greg. Oh, <laughs> there, okay, I see. Playful monkeys are effective means of building clamadaries. Call me Hildry. Now then, from what I know of the goldsmith's procentering to proceed his materials himself, I've deducted that the most like to be found in the vigilance of the blue fog in the northern Talaland. If there is something, we shall begin our search. No way! <laughs> 
No way. Touch for the goldsmith and Lord Telelan. The camp, blue fog, we go, chat. Bad steward, if you remember, this is the first place in where I acquired you, my boy. Yes. It was at this place on this day. <laughs> Stare into my eyes, chat. Stare into my eyes. That bad steward was here. I think it's time for some memories. It is. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Oh, a carcass of the boys. What has happened here then? The rules indicated it was felled with a hammer. A trait of a bloody footprints leads to the north. I don't think it's been dead long. Maybe whoever did this is still around. Then Yuko Joe Star must investigate. Must in okay. dodge at every bound and leap. Oh, hello. I slayed something else. This goldsmith is not to be trifled with. Yuko Joe Star must investigate. Glory to the fat steward. The Baskelid's wounds indicated it was fell with a hammer. A trait of a bloody footprint leads to the north. A single blow to the head. Impressive. What is this? One punch man that I'm now dealing with as well? Another carcass, really? Damn. Well, you took out the eye, boys. That's fine by me. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold your friend. His handiwork is unmistaken. Hmm, the corpse is still quite warm. Why are you feeling the corpse? Stop. Why are you feeling it? You've been told not to touch the corpses, my boy. Double of the Baskelin and the armor man. All slain with a hammer, as were the beast over yonder, unless I'm mistaken. Over there, Hugo Star. <laughs> oh, what? Must be his latest prize, which means he must still be about. Perhaps he is watching us at this very moment, attack, attempting to assert our intentions. He was ever curious, man, when he was on the hunt. There's Greg. Good old Greg. Alas, it comes to this. Though every fiber of my being cries out in rebellion, I must break my oath and do the unspeakable. Whew, let's see what Greg has to see. Or say. What must do all this terrible? I must dance! I challenge you to a dance-off. I am Amanda, 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 Ville, man. Doing what only Amanda Ville can. From the peaks of Corpus to Talaland. Manda, Manda, Mandeville, man. <laughs> yeah. You dance it, boy. You give him that. I cannot have heard my eyes. No, we cannot. Such elegancy. <sighs> that is the dance of House Mandeville, passed down from father to son. Were I to perform it within sight of our quarry, he would not be able to put resist revealing himself alas and neglect the properties to stretch my legs beforehand my good man i see no other solution you must dance in my steed though it must be a gross nay uncalled violation of my family's tradition i must bequint to you the mandeville you have learned the mandeville dance yes he has gave me such power. Yes, yes, yes. Where is it? 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 There it is. Oh, remove this. We do not need this. Yes. Dance for us. He will abuse this emote. You damn no. <laughs> Yuko. Joestar. Has been blessed with the dance. Yes, chubs. Dance for us. Dance for us. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look at it. <laughs> yes. Oh, is it continuous as well? <gasps> it's continuous. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Now I have acquired the power of your... Now I have acquired the power. 
What manner of man can be summoned only through dance? I don't know. We're gonna have to see. Greg, get out your fat bunda getting in the- Greg! I wanna speak to my lady, there you go. Are you really gonna do the Mandeville? Oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> yes. Are you re- The time has come for you to do only a Mandeville can. We are as siblings now, my constant comrade. For I have shared with you the secrets of the house Mandeville. Now you must use that knowledge to go to the Fallen Chire and dance like only a Mandeville can. And with that, I will give that honor to you. And once again, let's do this, shall we? Yes, yes, yes. Yuko Joestar with the power of the Mandeville dance will grace the presence. Let's see, shall we? What do you have for me? There's Greg and his big bunda. <laughs> Let's get dancing. Oh, how do we do this? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> how do we do it? Come on, show us the full dance for it. There we go. Uh Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chat. It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Fancy yourself a Mandarin van. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Fancy yourself a Mandarin man. You wouldn't do what a Mandarin can. Then lift your legs and put your hands. Be a Manda Mandaville man. Here he comes! No, no. <laughs> yeah. Yes! No way! It's God bird! <laughs> yes! Ho, 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 you have naught to fear from me, nor to all. The only account I have come to sell is with Chimera. Will he remember our previous encounter? Surely, yes, such man of elegance. Damn, boy! But you were not drawn here by co some coincidence, were you? No, you came in search for Godbert. Why else would you drape your hips in such a general mannerly fashion, if not that? Wait, I know you. He's a strong yet feeble tender figure. Yes! <laughs> he remembers us! He remembers us from the massage! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. But more importantly, how in the seven hells did you learn the man to build? If I did not teach you, then who? Oh, oh no, it's a showdown. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What? <laughs> Why is he running off? By the grace of Tar, what sorceries is this? He yet lives? <laughs> what is going on? This is amazing! My legs shaking as I run forevermore. The power of God behind me, running with their muscles. Oh, their muscles. I shit myself even more. I remember that time I... Rubbed him down that time. I must run. Go. Go forevermore. <laughs> this is the best. Helder Brand. Helder Maximilian Manville. Oh, such power. Such strength. <laughs> oh, get out of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ten years, Elder Brad. Ten years since you left home, and five since I have learned of your trip to Dalamud. 
How long were you planning to allow your mother and father to suffice under the illusion of their beloved son was dead? Ah! You are. That's your father? No. So I've not only massaged the father and the son. <laughs> yes. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. <gasps> son, you are Hildry's father? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gilbert the goldsmith, a mandarin man, smithing as only a mandarin can. Oiling him up, giving him a tan, fit for a mandarin mandarin man. <laughs> yes. Come forth, boy. Please, father, cease your under. Come at once. There are more pressing matters at hand. <laughs> dance with me, boys. Please. Please, I uh, get to dance with all three of them. Maria, are you joining in? This antique vase must make whole once more for the sake of Miss Maria. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Ah, do not worry, little one. I deal with the worst cases before my morning bowel movement. A little tip, a little tip. What? Hold your applause. Oh, hold your applause. By the end, by God, guide my hammer. Look how it sparkles in the twilight, how it radiates elegance. Would you all not agree that it is a work of art? You've completely destroyed a priceless antique historical value. Nonsense, I have taken a dull, unremarkable vase and transformed it into something far superior. I hope you were paying attention, Hildry. How long has it been since you last held a hammer? Father. Uh, that is not my path. I am an agent of inquiry as an inspector. It is my duty to help those in need. Miss Maria is one such person. There are others too, innocent people whose weapons are callously ripped from the hands by thieving duelists. I thought you had put a away childish dreams. No matter, you will understand in due time. No, I will not. I am an inspector, father. I cannot be aught else. Um, Mrs. Godbert? Uh, Mr. Not Mrs. <laughs> I don't think my mother's going to like what you did. She probably won't let Mr. Hildebrand help with the investigation. We cannot say that for certain, can we? Perhaps she will still take a liking to this reimagination. <laughs> you spoke of the thieving duelist, did you not? It so happens I am something of a duelist myself. We were to cross paths with this fellow. I would welcome the opportunity to pit my skills against this. Enku, as well, I should think. I see you too possess a great stem of justice. All glad I am. I have to meet you, Greg. Now let us return to Vesper Bay and see our vase is received. Vesper Bay, you say? What a coincidence. I shall be traveling there on business once I have finished gathering materials. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I... I think I might have seen a demon bird which took my weapon. Go on without me, I shall follow a noon. <laughs> that is amazing. No way. The Vesper Bay, we go at once, chat. Maria? I hope she likes it. Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if she likes it, Maria, don't worry. And then Peter Pan will be here. Mother, I have bought the vase. By the gods, have you all no shame? How dare you make my daughter 
bumper locate in your chimerary. I don't know where you found this gauntlet trash, but it bears no resemblance of whatever the vase I purchased. Have a little lippy one, isn't she? Now here, Lady D, not only did you send Maria to fetch your priceless vase alone, placing her in considerable danger should bandits or wild beasts attack, which they did, but... Gaudy trash? Oh, no. <laughs> Lord Mandeville, sir, I did not realize you had arrived. What is this, Alfred? I must need, I must get. Yes, yes. Though I know nothing compared to the lavish accommodations an esteemed gentleman such as yourself must enjoy. I pray my humble abode meets with your fascination. <laughs> oh, it does, my lady. It does indeed, especially that exquisite vase over, over yonder. Although I gather from previous comments that you do not like my reconstruction. Your reconstruction? Oh, I don't like it. I love it. Oh, hello. Listen off. I would go as far as to call it the new centerpiece of the throne dynasty collection. Ah, what a relief. I would have been most distressed have you said otherwise. Me Mandevilles do take so much pride in our work and never strive for professional perfection. Ah, but why I am repeating what my son Hildebrand doubtless told you when he offered to investigate the duelist threats. Enough expository banter, I say. I cannot recall if your son used precise words, but I do remember thinking that his help would be most welcome. You two-faced... <laughs> you will be helping us, Inspector Hildebrand, will you not? Wait a minute. Your father is Lord... Gilbert Mandeville? The man who took the elo... Seat on the syndicate? Oh. It appears there has been a great many developments over the past 10 years, of which I was completely unaware. In any case, we must direct our energies towards the investigation of the Thieving Duelist. Our first order of business will be to review all the facts with the consenting Inspector Brian. And we must speak with Brian. Sadly, chat. This...